We're actually saying, how do we understand the fundamentals of what worked and how it worked? How can we understand, for example, the role of Aetna with J.P. Morgan and see the role of those two players in the same light that we would view Citibank and AIG today? Now, I can assure you that when we talk about this conversation in the media, whether it's in a week or in a month or in a year, people will be scratching their head going, what's he talking about? Aetna and Morgan. But for those people who think that derivatives and CDOs and CDSs are all these modern innovations, all you have to do is go back 100 years and actually look at what Aetna was doing with the, with the canals in New York, what they were doing with the iron and the flow of iron to the steel mills in Pennsylvania. And you'll see, lo and behold, an insurance company backing CDOs 100 years ago. We could learn some lessons if we actually looked at it for what it was. But in our nostalgia, we sometimes overlook that. So all I'm saying is I, it, it's not an invocation to a past ideal. It's an understanding of when humans interfaced with this dynamic, what actually transpired. Because remember that it was out of the Aetna and the Morgan and the Vanderbilt and the Carnegie collaboration, in their view, fast forward to the Sherman Act, antitrust, you know, that's what we got. You know, so we, we, went from, we went from collaboration, we went from creativity, we went from financial engineering to anti-competitive, anti-monopoly. So when people in 2009 say, well, maybe government regulation is going to come in, yeah, it, it will. And guess why? Because the last time we were at this exact same place, the response was the Sherman Act. So, I mean, those are the kinds of things. When I talk about ancient wisdom, I'm talking about kind of demytho you know, demythologizing, if that's a word, you know, stripping away the fantasy of the past and actually looking at the past and saying, there is wisdom in there. And if we don't learn from that wisdom, odds are that the generous cosmos is going to let us learn the lesson again.